Hey everyone, today's ab circuit is alphabet abs. There will be 26 moves, one for each letter of the alphabet. After 20 seconds of work, rest for 10 seconds and pause the video if you need more time. Here we go! First up, we have alternating toe touches. Lay on your back with both legs extended in the air. Keep your core engaged as you touch one hand to the opposite foot and alternate. Up next, we have bicycles. Bring one knee to the opposite elbow while extending the other leg. Use your hands to gently support your head. Cross crunches. With your feet flat on the ground, try to keep your back pressed to the floor. Reach one arm across your body to the outside of your knee and alternate. Up next, dead bugs. Your legs should be off of the ground and bent at a 90 degree angle. Extend each leg with the same arm. Up next, we have extended crunches. For these, you'll want to lay your legs flat out in front of you and raise your head with the support of your arms. Three, two, one. Up next, flutter kicks. Raise your legs off of the ground, but don't forget to support your back with your hands under your butt. Take tiny up and down movements by fluttering your legs. Even though this movement is aimed at the glutes, if you engage your core, you should still feel it there. Keep feet flat on the ground and raise your hips as high as you can each time. For hip dips, start from a side plank. Lower your hips to the ground and raise them back up. Try not to let your body twist by keeping your hips facing forward. Up next is the inchworm. Start standing up straight and then bend over and walk your hands out into a front plank and then back into your ankles. Up next, jackknives. Start laying down and then bend your knees up towards your chest and return to a flat position.
Up next, kick outs. You'll want to stand up straight for these and then kick each leg to the front and then to the side, making sure to keep your core engaged. Up next, lemon squeezes. These are similar to jackknives, but your upper body never lies flat on the ground. Use your hands to support while you extend the legs out and back in. While in a front plank position, bring each foot up towards the chest. Go even faster to get that heart rate even higher. Up next, nose to knee touches. Start on all fours. Reach one knee into your chest and meet it with the opposite elbow. Up next, oblique crunches on the left and right side. Bend your legs at a 90 degree angle and then twist them to one side. Perform crunches as usual from this position. Up next, penguins. With your feet flat on the ground, reach to tap each heel and alternate. Up next, quick high knees. Run in place as fast as you can and bringing your knees all the way to 90 degrees. For these regular crunches, keep your feet flat on the ground, raising your upper body slightly with the support of your hands. Up next, left and right side planks. Just remember to keep your hips raised as high as you can. Please excuse my face, I got a shot yesterday and my arm is still pretty sore. Up next, we have toe touches. Extend those legs high in the air and reach up to touch them with your hands. Uh. 
Our next move is an up and down plank. Start with your hands on the ground and then lower each elbow and come back up. This next move is simply a balance. Bring your knees off of the floor and raising your upper body to meet your legs. We're almost done guys. Our next move is called a windshield wipers. Your legs should be at a 9 degree angle while you rotate them from side to side. The next move is called an X-reach. Lay down and position your body like an X. Bring one hand to meet the opposite foot. Now this next one really isn't an ab workout, but it's okay. You're going to lay flat on your stomach and raise your arms in the position of a Y. This is our last move and a little bit of cardio. You're gonna hop around and form a box. That's why these are called zigzag hops. Hey! <laughs> when you're doing these, make sure you don't trip like I did right there. That's it everyone, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to stretch it out, drink some water, and stay tuned for more videos.